In this lesson, we shall focus on mathematics, Euclidean geometry, grades 11 and 12, and we begin as follows. In the diagram, PQ is a common chord of two circles. Right, here it is, P, Q. Mark the ends of a common chord of the two circles. It is a common chord because it is a chord uh, of both circles. The center M of the larger circle lies on the circumference of the smaller circle. There it is. M lies on the circumference of the smaller circle. We also have a larger circle there. P, M, and Q is a slightly quadrilateral. P, N, M, Q. P, M, and Q is a slightly quadrilateral in the smaller circle. Q, N is produced to R. QN is produced to R, a point on the larger circle. NM produced meets code PR at S. You have S there. The angle P2 equals X. The angle P2 equals X. Give a reason why the angle N2 is equal to X. Give a reason why the angle N2 is equal to X. This is it. The examiner is saying the angle N2 equals X. Click give a reason why. Right. You have three minutes. You have exactly three minutes. You have exactly three minutes. When you're done, please let us know. When you are done, please let us know. When you are done, please let us know. How far parallel low? I'm so okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Um remember these are exam gymnastics. These are exam gymnastics. So we are preparing for the exam now. And we want to make sure that the preparation for the exam goes on very well. This is our objective. This is our objective. This remains our objective.
<laughs> yes, how are you? Fine, thanks, and you. Yes. Oh, okay. They are the parent of that student. Yes, Alwandi. Yeah, I'll be actually having a discussion with that student uh, today um, at 11. And uh, we shall have uh, a series of discussions tomorrow. So I'm sure that she'll be okay because uh, she's writing a test on Monday. And uh, we spent a considerable amount of time on the topics already. So I'm sure that she's very familiar with the topics. And uh, yeah, she will actually, obviously, I mean, we're having a discussion uh, um, tonight. And also we have a series of discussions during the course of tomorrow in the morning. We have a series of discussions up to 10 a.m. that I've scheduled um, from as early as uh, 4 a.m., um, 6 a.m., 8 a.m., up to 10 a.m. And then we take a break um, at 10 a.m. We return again um, after after 12 um, and we run a series of discussions from 12 until until 6. And we take a break. Yes, please. You understand, yeah, definitely. But of, actually, I indicated uh, the reason um, that uh, we actually obviously be allocating time today um, at the suggested time slot. I actually gave uh, explanations for that. Um, but also, I've indicated that we will allocate. Yes, I indicate. Yeah, I indicated uh, today in the morning hours. Yeah, that I will allocate time um, later on today. Um, and obviously, I've communicated uh, to here that the scheduled time is going to be 11 p.m., but I've indicated that our discussion is going to stretch much, you know, from 11 p.m., um, but also the morning there's going to be provision to really depend on the time at which there's going to be saturation or she's going to feel exhausted. The In the morning by 4 a.m. we'll be up having discussions to make sure that we, you know, optimize um, on the time available and, and cover as much content as possible, do as much revision as possible. And I'm sure that she'll be, she'll be very much okay. I understand, obviously, um, that she's a little bit worried, but she will be fine. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, we, we, with the time allocation and the number of hours we shall allocate um, at 11 p.m. today because, yeah, the, the thing is we're having another discussion now. There's another class discussion, so that is why 11 is very ideal. Um, and uh, obviously by 4 a.m. will be actually obvious she's aware of that. We'll be running a series of discussions until uh, 10 a.m. So from 4 to 6 six to eight eight to ten right and and so if you look at it from 4 a.m up to 10 it's just six hours um that we've allocated and uh, and obviously then um we'll continue then even in the afternoon um tomorrow on top of having you know discussed it today so uh, i'm sure therefore that it should be okay yeah, yeah, but obviously I must thank you for uh, you know following up. It actually uh, means a lot because uh, obviously I mean I understand she's the kind of student who is who is self driven, and uh, and these kinds of students need to be afforded the opportunity to learn. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, but we are but, but most certainly we appreciate your involvement in 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 her learning. You know. And 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 we we actually obviously expect to make more time available and more discussions available to make sure that um, she's afforded the opportunity to learn um, effectively. Okay. We appreciate so much. Okay. Okay. Many thanks then. Okay. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, please, yes, please, you done.
I need help, please. <laughs> how far down? How far have you got? Why? Why would you think the examiner asked this question? Because the examiner is saying, give a reason why the angle N two is X. Why do you think the angle N two is X? I only found out that N two is equals to angle S one alternating angles. Okay, that's fine. Remember, we are practicing, so I know that geometry is one of those mammals. It's one yes. of those hippos. Like, it's, it's a mammal. It's a strange thing. Okay, but now, you need to remember from grade 11 that when you, there's a theorem that says that we say that exterior angle of cyclic quad. Exterior angle of cyclic quad. Exterior angle of cyclic quad. So if you look at 10.2.1, it's exactly what we are seeing because if you look at the angle N2, you're able to see this. A cyclic quad is a quadrilateral with four vertices, all of which lie on the circumference of the same circle. So what we are seeing is therefore that this angle here is equal to this angle there. And this is the kind of diagram we have. And therefore, it is clear that the angle N2 is equal to the angle X, which is the uh, P2. And the reason for that is because uh, we have exterior angle of cyclic quad. Exterior angle of cyclic quad. Exterior angle of cyclic quad. This is it. This is grade 11 work. Exterior angle of cyclic quad. Any question? No, sir. No question? Yes. Okay, we move forward to the next. We are practicing geometry for exams. These are like past exam questions. They're not, they're not questions I'm just bringing here for the sake of bringing questions. No. These are past exam questions. Let's move to the next one. Let us move to the next one. Write down another angle equal in size to X. Write down another angle equal in size to X. Write down another angle equal in size to X. So we have already we already know that this angle N2 is X. The examiner is saying there is another angle equal in size to X. What angle is that? Because N2 is X, P2 is X. The examiner is saying there is another one that is equal to X. Which one is it? And give a reason for this. Okay, you have, you have three minutes, five minutes. We're not running, we're not rushing you. We are not rushing you. So is it like obvious or you have to calculate? Yes, something? you need to you need to you need to study the figure carefully and use your theorems. And and use your theorems because now you need to think. Okay. But what do you know about grade 11? There is a circle with a center. There's a circle with a what? With a center. And then you have, you have a, if O is the center, then the radius is equal to radius. And this angle is equal to that angle. You get the point? Mm -hmm. And we say these are radii. Okay. So here, this one is the radius. Because you have already been told that you yes. have the center yes. M. 
So now the line drawn from the center of a circle to the circumference of a circle is called the radius. So for the big circle here, for the larger circle, M is the center. If M is the center, then you have that um, MP is a radius, but also MQ is a radius. MQ so that radius. this is equal to this, and these are radii. And therefore, the angles opposite equal sides, if this angle is X, then this angle must be the same. And this is true for the triangles we call isosceles triangles. Mm -hmm. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with two adjacent sides equal, and therefore the angles are the same. So that this angle is also what? It's also X. So it, it means therefore there's another mm -hmm. angle which is X and it is the angle, the angle Q1. It is therefore the angle Q1. So here you need to write and then say MP from Pumalanga is equal to QF. <laughs> and then this is radii. So MP for Pumalanga is equal to QM and these are radii because M is the center. Any line you draw from the center to the circumference is called a radius. This is a radius, etc. And now if these radii are equal of the same circle, and therefore, the angle Q1 is actually equal to X. So the angle Q1 is equal to X. Of angles opposite equal sides. This is it. Angles opposite equal sides. Angles opposite equal sides. We're trying to train you to, to love geometry. This is the theme of today's discussion. Loving geometry. Okay, so Q1 is X, P2 is X, and 2 is also X. Any question, anything you don't understand here? No, sir, I see it now. Okay, good. There are, ton, there are like thousands of questions we have prepared for geometry. Let's go to the next one. Determine the size of angle R in terms of X. The examiner is saying, find this angle R in terms of X. What is it? Break 11 work. Break 11 work. Determine the size of angle R in terms of X. You have three minutes. Because this angle N2, you already know is X. So you, you put it here. This one you already know is X, so we put it here. And then you can see what the shape that, uh, what this shape resembles. It resembles something like this. The angle at center is two times the angle at circumference. The angle at center is double this one. If this one is one dot, this one is two dots. But, this also is the same as this. It's also the same as this. This angle here is this angle there. So these diagrams are the same. Angle at center. Angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. Angle at center is two times angle at circumference. So determine the size of the angle R in terms of X. Grade 11 work. What do you think? Okay, so, so what, what do they actually mean when they say in terms of X? 
They mean the angle can be like 90 degrees minus x or 180 degrees minus 2x. So it's in terms of x. Uh, okay. Yeah, if, if the angle r, it must be in terms of x. So it must be like 180 degrees minus 2x. Then this angle is in terms of x. So now, try this one now. What is the angle R in terms of X? I've already solved all these questions myself. I'm just testing you, you know. With me, I've already done all this. So to me, it's revision already. I've already solved everything. I already have all, 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 all the, these questions solved. But I'm trying to train you. So what do you think angle R is in terms of X? What is it? What is angle M1 in terms of X in the triangle PMQ? In the triangle Sorry, P, what is the size P? of what is the size of the angle M1? Isn't it um 180 minus 2x. Why? Because, um, what is this again? Number of, what is this? Total number of angles in a triangle. The sum of angles in a triangle. Mm -hmm. Good, the sum yes. of angles in a triangle. That's fine, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to train you. So obviously now you tell the examiner, it means the examiner. We're going to work in triangle PMQ. If then you come and then say in that triangle, we add all the angles there. So we add X. We add angle M1. We add X. We get 100 and what? 80 degrees. 80. Yes. And the reason is that we have the sum of the sum of what? Yeah. Triangle. Good. 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 You continue. Right. Or you can say the sum of angles. The sum of angles. The sum of angles. Sum of angles of a triangle. The sum of angles of a triangle. The sum of angles of a triangle. So that what is the angle M1? It's 180 degrees minus 2x. And that is the answer. So the angle M1 is 180 degrees minus 2x. But they don't want M1 they, because they can see it's easy. They want R. Mm -hmm. So what do we do now? When they want R in terms of X. So what do we do now? Um, Since it's two times, let me see. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that since it's two times that. I think we multiply by two. I don't know. Do we multiply by two? Yes, yeah, some of them multiplied by two, yeah. So in other words, we know that the angle M1 is equal to two times the angle R. So that why? Why is angle M1 equals two times angle R? Angle at center. The M1 is an angle times. at center. Equals two times angle at what? Circumference. A circumference. Good. Angle at center is two times angle at what? At circumference. So the angle M1 is 180 degrees minus 2x, and this is uh, the angle R. 
So we want to get the angle R, so we divide by 2, so which is 2R. So you have the 2R here. So this one here is 2R. So that the angle R is 180 degrees minus 2x, you divide by 2, it is 90 degrees minus x. So the angle R now, we found it in terms of x, it is actually exactly 90 degrees minus x. So therefore, the angle R is 90 degrees minus x. Any question? Any question? Oh, okay. No. Think about it. Make sure that you understand it because this is a past paper. It's a past paper set for the grade levels. So make sure that you understand it. Yes, sir. Make sure that you understand it. Right. So make sure you understand it. I understand it, sir. Okay, good. The next question is 10.2.4. Prove that PS is equal to SR. Prove that PS is equal to SR. Prove that PS is SR. Prove that PS is SR. So now, the couple of things that are very important, we already know that the angle N2 is X. This is also X. This one is 90 degrees minus X. Then we're asking the question, prove that PS is equal to SR. Prove. You have five minutes to try this one. You have five minutes. You have five minutes. Please let us know when you're done. Right, you have five minutes. You have five minutes.
We're five minutes. How far? How far? Just a few minutes. All right.
Sir? Yes, how far? Hey, Dan. Um, I tried to... So okay, if you go to now, fine, if you're gone. Okay, I'm going to remind you another theorem. Obviously, I will have to find out what you did. But there's a theorem we do at grade 11 that actually is clear that if you have a perpendicular, we say perpendicular from center, a perpendicular from center to code bisects the code. And this is the theorem. A perpendicular from center to code bisects the code. So here we just need to prove that. If you can prove that this angle is 90 degrees, and that is 90 degrees, then it will mean that the point S bisects the code PR, meaning S is the midpoint. So then we're going to say the angle S1. Yeah, okay. Okay. What? So I don't understand. Okay, we say that perpendicular from center perpendicular from center to code bisects the code. So we don't finish that. Right, so if you have a center and M is the center and there's a line from the center to a code and if this line is perpendicular to the code then it means that it bisects the code. So here you need to prove uh, perpendicularity. So you need to prove that S1 is 90 degrees or S2 is 90 degrees or both angles are 90 degrees. In this case, the angle S1 is exactly equal to 90 degrees minus X plus X. Okay, from grade 10, we know that if you have... Yes, if you have an angle here, then the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. Which means that this is A, B, C. The angle C1 is angle A plus angle B. And we say that exterior angle of triangle. So that this is exterior angle of what? Of triangle. So this angle S1 is equal to this plus this because it's an exterior angle. The, the C1 from grade 10 is equal to angle A plus angle B. So the S1 is equal to uh, the X plus 90 degrees minus X. So that the angle S1 is, now X minus X is zero, meaning S1 is 90 degrees. So you have proven that S1 is 90 degrees. Now, as a consequence, then you, you are allowed the grid level to say, therefore, if this uh, perpendicular is a, is a perpendicular line from center, perpendicular to a chord, it therefore bisects the chord. And therefore, we then say the following. So we then say that, therefore, P asked is SR. Line from center perpendicular to code. Line from center perpendicular to code. Line from center, perpendicular to code. Line from center, perpendicular to code. And then we are done. Any question on this one, uh, actually from grade 11? Any question on this uh, from grade 11? Wait, sir, let me just see. Okay.
Okay. All right, let's move on to the next question. Question 10. O is the center of the larger circle. O is the center of the larger circle. O lies on the circumference of the smaller circle. O, W, V, U are points on the circumference of the smaller circle. O, W, V, U are points on the circumference of the smaller circle. T, S, V, U are points on the circumference of the larger circle. T, S, V, U are points on the circumference of the larger circle. Name four other angles, each equal to X with reasons. Okay, the examiner is saying there's an angle that is 2x. It is this one here. 2x is this one there. But the examiner is saying name four other angles, each equal to x with reasons. So now you have four minutes. You have four minutes. You have four minutes. You have four minutes. So we continue. Right. Okay, if you are still thinking, now the angle at center is here. Angle at center is two times angle at circumference. So if this angle is circumference, the angle at center is two times that one. So the angle here is two times that one. So that's the first angle you found, sir? Yes, because now at this point, if this one is 2x, this one is supposed to be x. Because here I found, okay. All right, you let me know what you found. So that now at this point, the angle S1 is x. So that the angle S1 is X. Angle at center is two times angle at circumference. Okay. Next, we need, we need other angles that are equal to X. So is it O1 equals to O2 angles on a straight line? Okay, yeah, that, that would be interesting to say O1 is O2. I'd be interested, but now there's something now, I, I just said angles in a straight line might, might not be equal because you can have a line like this so that this one is bigger and this one is smaller 
But at least what we know that is that on a straight line, then their sum is 180 degrees. So the sum of adjacent angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. But what we know that the angles in a bow tie are angles in the same segment. Oh, yeah. So you need to look for a bow tie here. Like this. Yeah, I see it. I'm glad that you're able to possibly be in a position to see that. So you have this one. So there's a bow tie, meaning an angle here is equal to this angle is equal to this, and this is equal to this. So which angle is equal to x? V3. Well done. V3 is equal to x. Y. Angles in same segment, we say. Angles in same segment. Angles in same segment. Next. Next. The examiner is saying there are four. So we're missing two more. Let's okay. find them. So we're missing two more. Let's find them. Oh, I see her. Okay. I'm excited if you're seeing something. Oh, gosh. This one. Because this one, now we have already seen that V3. is x we have seen that v3 is x then another angle that is equal to x which one there are too many bow ties there even in the small mm -hmm. circle they are bow ties they are like angles in the same segment i see um v one. I mean, W1. Well done. I'm glad that your, your eyes are open now. I'm glad that you also, your eyes are open because the angle W1 is equal to the angle V3, which is equal to X. Angle mm -hmm. is the same segment. Angles in same Segment. Segment. Okay, so W1 is also X. But the examiner is saying there are four. So we need more angles. So we need more angles. So according to the examiner, there are more angles. There are more angles. According to the examiner, there are more angles. So what is the size of the angle? Another one. There's another angle that is X. The examiner is saying, find it. Hmm. The examiner saying, find it. So this takes you back to grade 10. There's a grade 10 exterior angle of triangle. Exterior angle of triangle equals the sum of the interior opposite angles. The examiner is saying there's one more because there are four other angles each equal to x.
So what about yes you um okay no Who, there's you oh, okay there's you from great time talking. from great time there's you if you have a triangle like this with a little tail that is extended this angle is equal to sum of these two angles so if this uh -huh. one is two x and it must be equal to this plus this so if this is 2x, this must also be x because it is equal to this plus this. Exterior angle of triangle equals the sum of the interior opposite angles. This is 2x. This one is already x. So it means that this whole angle must be x. So that this is this plus this. x plus x is, is 2x. Mm -hmm. So that in the end, you have the following. The angle U is equal to X. Exterior. Angle of triangle OVU. Because the sum of Opposite interior angles. Exterior, uh, exterior angle of triangle OVU. Exterior, exterior angle of triangle OVU is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. Exterior angle of triangle OVU equals sum of opposite interior angles. Any question? No, sir. So we found four angles now, each equal to x. The next question is determine the size of the angle W2 in terms of x with reasons. Determine the size of the angle W2 in terms of x with what? With reasons. Reasons. Right. So what do you think? Think about it. You have five minutes. W2 in terms of X. W2 in terms of X.
How far? Almost done, so. Okay. Sir? Yes, please. Okay, so I said um, angle W plus angle U is equal to 180, which is opposite angles of side. Side to quad, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, yes, and then that's when I started solving for, and then I said angle W2 plus X plus x is equals to 180. Yeah. And then it all gives me w2 was equals to 180 minus 2x. Yes. Okay, yes, that's fine. Right. Right. Yes. Okay, that's okay. The angle O2 is equal to the angle w2. Why would angle O2 be equal to the angle w2? Why? Because they are in a bow tie. Okay. These are actually exactly in a bow tie. They're exactly in a bow tie. Because if you have this, it's equal to this here. So that the angle O2 is equal to the angle what? W2, w2 and, and these are in a bow tie, but we don't use the word bow tie, we use angles in the same segment. Segment. Good. So we then say these are angles in the same segment. So looking at the, the so we then say these are angles in same angles in same segment. The angle O2 is equal to 180 degrees minus 2x. Why would this be the case? Because this plus this must be 180 on a straight line. This is a straight line. So O2 is 180 degrees minus 2x, and these are angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line. On a straight line. Okay, because if this angle is on a straight line, then the angle O2 is 180 degrees minus 2x. So we found angle so the way two. I, Yes, the way you understand it, yeah? The way I did it, was it wrong or? Um, it was correct. Good. Because I also got 180 minus 2x. It was correct. Okay. You're very, very correct. Because you're right. You used opposite angles of a cyclic quad. The sum is 180. 
Okay, so now that is very, very correct. So okay. obviously at this point, uh, you come and then say the angle W2 is equal to the angle O2, which is equal to 180 degrees minus twice X. Okay, any question? No, sir. Prove that WS is, is WV. That is the next thing. Prove that WS is WV. You have five minutes. Okay, this is exam preparation. These kinds of questions, you want to meet them in the exam, please. It's not, it's not that I'm just giving you these questions. No, they're coming from past grade 11 exams across the nine provinces of South Africa. So they are very serious questions, this. You have five minutes to do 10.3. Prove that WS equals WV. When you're done, you let us know. Right, how far?
Okay, I lost you. Right. Red lost you there. How far parallel? You're doing 10.3 now. Prove that WS is equal to WV. Prove that WS equals WV. How far? Right, how far? Okay, good. That's fine because we are practicing and I always give you a fair chance. I don't want to rush you because we are not in a hurry here. But here we are practicing. We are practicing. And so to practice what we then do is the, the following. Right, so it is the following. Ten point three. Which means S one plus two. Right, we note that S1 plus 2 is actually exactly 90 degrees because O is the center of the circle and therefore TV is a diameter of the circle so that the angle S1 plus the angle S1 plus 2 is equal to 90 degrees. And the reason for this 90 degrees is that it is an angle in semicircle. Angle in semi 
angle in semicircle. Therefore, therefore, the angle S2 is equal to 90 degrees minus X. The angle V1 is equal to the angle W2 minus the angle S2. So the angle S2 becomes 90 degrees because this one, you already know that this is X, so that the S2 is 90 degrees minus x. 90 degrees minus x plus x is 90 degrees. The angle V1 is equal to W2 minus S2, which means exterior angle of a triangle. The angle V1 is exactly equal to W2 minus S2. The angle V1 can be seen as W2 minus S2. Because W2 from grade 10, from grade 10, angle W2 is equal to the angle S2 plus the angle V1, exterior angle of triangle. So that then in the end, You'd have W2 The angle W2 I've already said is 180 degrees minus 2x. We said that. The angle S2 becomes 90 degrees minus x. 180 minus uh, 90 is 90 degrees minus x. So the angle V1 is 90 degrees minus X. The angle SW is WV, which means sides opposite equal angles. We have already shown that V1 is 90 minus X. But also S2 is 90 minus X. So these base angles are equal to each other. So that SW is equal to WV. SW equals WV. Any question on this one? Because we have now answered question 10.3. Any question? Anything you don't understand with this question? No, I understand, sir. All right. We move on to the next question. We shall soon proceed to the next question. Okay, this was just a practice session to reflect on some of the geometry you need to know for the exams. And so it's very important that you pay particular attention to the things we've proven and everything we've done. So because... can you also give me a home activity? Yes, I'll give you a home activity. There are just too many problems. Good, good. I will give you a lot of uh, uh, problems to try. Let's try the next one. Okay. Right, the next one is this one. And in the diagram... MP, Pumalanga, is the diameter of a circle centered at O. O is the center. 
MP cuts the code in RXT. T is this one. Radius and O and codes PR, MN, and MR are drawn. The angle R1 is 69 degrees. There it is. The angle R1 is 69 degrees. Determine giving reasons the size of the angle R2. Determine giving reasons the size of the angle R2. They need this one. What is the size of that angle? What is the size of that angle? Right, you have three minutes. Right, you have practice to do, you have some something to try. The angle R2, what do you think the size of the angle R2 is here? How far?
sir. Yes, please. Still here? I see that R2 is equals to O2. Yes. And goes in the same segment. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. So I'm going to mention that one because angles in the same segment must... The, the bow tie must be on the circumference of the circle. Oh, oh okay. yeah, because this O2, it yeah, it would have been the same segment if it was if it were moved to to the circumference. Oh, okay. But then because it is at the center, then it is an angle, it is angle at center is twice angle at, angle at circumference, if anything. Because we're going to construct a line of O and yes. R. Yes, you can construct a line of O and R, yeah. That'll be okay. But now, what did what do we call an angle subject by diameter? What is an angle in semicircle? Okay, because MP in Pumalanga is a diameter. Because it passes through the, mm -hmm. it passes through the center. So which therefore means mm -hmm. that the whole of the angle MRP is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Angle in semicircle. Mm -hmm. It means that because in mathematics, if uh, there is an angle subtend by diameter, which a, a diameter is a chord that passes through the center, and the chord subtends an angle of 90 degrees at circumference. So that the mm -hmm. angle MRP is equal to 90 degrees. If this whole angle is 90, it means that 69 degrees plus the angle R1 must be equal to 90 degrees. It means that this plus this is 90 degrees, and therefore it means the angle R1 is 90 degrees minus 69 which is 21 degrees. So the angle R1 is 21 degrees. Oh, okay. The angle R1 equals 21 degrees. The rest of these are your home activity. Right, the rest of these are your home activity. I'm going to send you the recording tonight and you can watch it tonight. Uh, but in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to send the recording so that you can watch and see what uh, you can uh, try with this. Okay. Great, sir. Thank you so much. It was awesome having this discussion until, um, until tomorrow. Right. Take care. Goodbye um, and good sorry. night. Yes, please. Can we do this topic more because it's kind of like my weak point? I understand. Yeah, no. we'll we'll do more of these geometry so that you can practice it more, so that you can like master it, because it's one of those topics that um, takes time. You need to look. You need to take. You need to think. You know. You need to look and reason, and it takes time and takes a skill as well. You know, it's one of those topics that is learned with difficulty. Okay, it's not, it doesn't come easy. But once you learn it, then you know, you know. Okay. But to start learning it, because the students look at this and be like, what's happening here? Which angles are equal? They don't, you know, they start wondering everything. They start doubting things. And they're like, which students can I even use here? So, you know, so it's because it's, it's like theory. You know, it's not, it's unlike the other math topics, because you can just like be like, two plus two, you can use a calculator. But here they'll be like, where do I even start using calculator here? Okay, so we shall do more of these, okay? Okay. All right, thanks a lot then. Um, Until tomorrow, take care, buddy. I'm going to send the recording tonight of this lesson so that you can spend time. But yeah, we shall, we shall organize, I'll organize more problems on this so that you can practice more. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening. Goodbye and God bless. Bye, sir. Goodbye, Pehalelo.